Dorothy Grant is a traditional Haida artist and a celebrated fashion designer. Her garments, button blankets, and spruce root hats can be found in museums and private collections worldwide. Michael Glendale visits Dorothy at her design studio in Vancouver and discovers how she maintains her cultural roots in the fashion industry. Hi, Dorothy. Hi, Michael. Hi. Welcome to my studio. Thank you. It's such an amazing space. Thank you. Thank you. I designed it, uh, this space, for just showing uh, the work as a in, in a boutique. Mm -hmm. And then behind the curtain, we've got where we cut and sew. This is what I started out doing as a traditional artist. In my 20s, I focused on the traditional side of Haida art, and, and particularly um, fabric art. So I started making button blankets uh, years ago, and I still make bl a blanket every once in a while. This was done a couple of years ago in Santa Fe, and it's the shark blanket. But uh, it's where I started and my inspiration for fashion came from because I did these blankets for years and years, and I, I outfitted a traditional height advanced group, and, and that's how it started. But I had some inspiration uh, from other uh, artists as well, like Bill Reed um, at the time had said, you know, I just came back from Paris, and... Um, you know, somebody should do Haida art and fashion. And I said, I think I can do that. And that was in 1983. You've got also got a line called Feastware. Yeah, Feastware is um, anything in my line uh, that's appliqued, hand cut, placed on fabric. It's, it's artwork placed on fabric and machine appliqued. Um, and it has a specific, yes, it has a specific label. This is a Feastware piece. Wow. This is a, a coat. That's amazing. This is a bit of a different caliber then. This is something that's going to be hand tailored for the client. So, a lot of custom order comes yeah. from Feastwear. And there's men's clothes I can see on the rack, of course, and being selfish. <laughs> no, no, this is great. Um, we do um, suit jackets. Wow. For men, and I do a lot of custom work on that. Mm -hmm. Do you think I could try one of these on? Oh, sure, sure. We prefer. No, no. Let's try this on here. I just like the jackets. This really. is a man's sport jacket. But your man will come in here and go, I really need a jacket for, ooh, yeah, that's, there you go. Yeah, it feels yeah, good. Yeah, button it out. See, one button. Yeah, this is a 42, but. One button's, that's, that's it now, right? Yeah. One button, not two. Well, no, you can, you know. I mean, with a suit jacket, you could do anything. You could wear with jeans, you know? I think that's the look now. We call it casual, ele casual elegance. Yeah. Jeans and a sport jacket. It yeah. says, I, I, I'm getting dressed, but I don't have to get all the way dressed. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, that's yeah. just the way it is. Yeah. That's amazing. I really like the transition from the traditional blanket that we see in the background to feast wear. This is my new accessory line. It's uh, beautiful scarves and neckties. Oh, uh, we felt that there was a real need for um, a, a product line that was, you know, less expensive. Mm -hmm. So, so right. we manufacture these beautiful eagle scarves. Oh my goodness, that's Which we're beautiful. also going to <clears throat> print fabric like this, like silk. It's going to be voltage fabric uh, that we can uh, cut up into like dresses, blouses, men's shirts. <laughs> Please. <laughs> can you imagine a men's shirt? I that? can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> On this side of the studio, I want to show you my Dorothy Grant line. Uh, it's quite different from the Feastwear line mm -hmm. in that uh, there's two processes. One is I um, embroider art. On, on the garment, and that's not done here, that's done somewhere else. As you can see, here's another embroidery piece with just the pockets, with little ravens on the pockets. Wow, that's so nice. And then the little gold label. Mm -hmm. uh, fashion is a reflection of, of social culture, mm -hmm. but for me there's certain things that are classic in shape and in style mm -hmm. and what I think my customer likes and what I like basically and I think designers are like that they design what they like but I like a classic silhouette and and I think that's what works well with my art with Haida art also I hear there's news of um, you're going to present in New York 
Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, Brian Park Fashion Show for Native American Fashion Week, and it's the first time they will be focusing on authentic Native fashion. Wow. Yeah. So what are, what are some items that you're thinking about? Well, we're going to be doing uh, like the printed scarf idea. Now we're going to be bolted fabrics. We're actually getting custom printed fabrics wow. so that I can make um, uh, jackets with beautiful uh, linings, with uh, high art designs. I can do skirts, uh, men's shirts. So what we did was we cut up some scarves. This is kind of the idea that we're going after. And, and similar to the blouse that I'm wearing. Um, so we'll be able to cut and sew and make just about anything that you know we can possibly think of. If it's done properly, it will catapult me into a whole different arena. Yeah, I was which is pretty scary for me. I mean, I you know, I've been pretty comfortable in, in, in this local BC Canadian fashion arena because I've been able to um, I've been able to do whatever I wanted with it, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. not be dictated by the industry on what I thought I should do or follow trends. Um, I've I've basically directed it myself, and and so this is kind of be like, okay, how do you work it? I'm going through a, a lot of thought process on that. So. Well, speaking of making clothes, do you want to show me the uh, shop? you want to show me where it's all done? Oh, sure, right behind this curtain. So, welcome, Michael, to where all the production happens, where we cut and sew. And Kim is my master seamstress. Mm -hmm. She has literally been responsible for making every piecework garment for the last 15 years. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Very proud of Kim. Uh, so this is where feast wear happens and also the Dorothy Grant line? Yes, this is where we cut everything. I order the fabric from my suppliers, it's shipped in. You're not seeing large bolts and bolts of things, so we're, we're, we're still a very small um, manufacturing house. This is a paper pattern that we do first and then right. we, we make up a, what's called a sample, the muslin. Mm -hmm. um, and I usually the like muslin. it done in the original fabric because I like to see how it's going to drape. Um, kind of what the fit is like, and we make a little twig, twig it, um, and then I approve it. Then it's made into a hard paper, hard paper pattern. This is a lookbook, mm -hmm. and it's kind of like a portfolio. It's mm -hmm. like an artist portfolio, and it's garments, uh, the garments that are everything that's been made. Wow. So this is what amazing. I took to New York, and they want to see my lookbook. They want to see what have I made. Am I good enough to be in the show? <laughs> <laughs> that's good. It's easy to compute. It's really quick. You can just mm -hmm, reference mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. How many hours do you spend back here? Is it you spend a lot of your time back here? No. Not really? Not these days? No. These guys are so, so good, like Kim, my seamstress, and my pattern maker and cutter. They're so good at what they do. I don't need to be here um, all the time. I'm up there. I'm up there doing a lot of business decisions. I built something from an idea. Mm -hmm. And I've taken it this far. It's brought focus of our um, indigenous art onto a world stage, and it's um, created a sense of pride in in our First Nations people mm -hmm. and young people. Mm -hmm. And and I think that's really important in terms of uh, role modeling. That this is what you can do. You mm -hmm. can take an idea, and you can build that dream, and you can actually make it happen. Mm -hmm.